Hi, I'm Sharon Fleming and I'm the director of Calgary Transit. Route Ahead is the city's 30-year plan for transit and how we're going to change it to improve service and frequency across the city. The primary transit network is a series of corridors where transit is provided with 10-minute frequency 15 hours a day. So Green Line focuses on an important corridor and an important customer base in the southeast that will enable us to meet that frequency requirement and get people downtown quicker. So Route Ahead is more than just construction projects. It is actually an improvement of operational service as its primary uh, focus, but it also does establish uh, the criteria and priority for a variety of different capital projects that complement our ability to serve that frequent network. As far as construction projects go, seeking funding for a variety of different priority projects and our goal right now is to ensure that they're shovel ready so that when um, we do have funding for those projects uh, we can move quickly. Our currently funded project is of course Green Line. Yeah so that's a very interesting project that has a lot of interest uh, in the community and we're actually working to create that shovel readiness and, and do an assessment of what the cost would be to connect the blue line and the green line to the airport. So a lot of the pre-readiness work is being completed as we speak, and that's to relocate a number of utilities. But I believe the green line will start the actual core part of the project in 2024, and it takes about five to six years for that to be completed. In 2020, City Council approved the Stage 1 of the Green Line from Shepherd to 16th Avenue North. This section was chosen to be built first, at, as it is the most technically complex section involving tunneling under downtown, multiple river crossings, and elevated sections of track. Once this piece is built, it's easier to add extensions to the north and south when funding does become available. The City is committed to building the Green Line North extension. Uh, we've purchased a bunch of land and we are getting the project ready to be um, completed, but we don't have funding at this time. Yeah, so the 301 to downtown complements the Green Line really well. So as we look at route planning, there will likely continue to be an express bus to downtown, but we do need to take a look at the whole um, service plan to decide if that is the right choice. Well, I can't speak long into the future, but we recently did do a Fairgate study that came to council in June, and it did not recommend Fairgates uh, for a variety of reasons, mostly because they don't actually improve safety. Um, whether or not we do a Fairgate study again in the future will depend on whether or not we're seeing fare evasion, and we're not actually seeing very much fare evasion in Calgary at this time. We have a report coming to CDC on October 2nd that describes the new safety strategy for Calgary Transit. Uh, this timely report will enable the city to work collaboratively with partners in the community such as our, our support services, the police service and our bylaw officers to collaborate on an integrated safety strategy. We're always looking to improve the lived environment around our stations and there are a lot of opportunities for um, commercial development um, as we progress some of our transit oriented development. Well the great news is as of September we've really increased our service on the C train um, particularly on the weekends. You should see a really good uh, ramp up of frequency there. In addition, as we continue to hire the 800 operators that were part of our plan this year, we'll be able to increase service across the network. 